Hello again and welcome back to another edition of Artzine's Let's Play Dark Souls. Today we are down in Blight Town going to kill Quilag the Fire Witch Spider thing, which is a bit of complicated, but I'm sure we'll sort it out in the long run. Primary thing to remember about this place is it is poison. Everything is poison. Literally everything is poison. So your drapes are poison? The money is poison. That people are poison. So yeah, as much shadow or other poison protective gear as you can. Let's have a look at our V's poison, assuming it's yeah, poison resist 157. Not because I'll bleed resist, but it's pretty good. That's a good way to start this run, I believe. Wow, it's dark. But still, that's what you sign up for when you're playing a game that's literally called Dark Souls. Right. Flaming spiders already? I laugh in your face. And then I run away because I'm about to get poisoned. Oh. I don't know if having my shield out actually affects the speed at which whoop, I get poisoned. I'm not sure it does. Oh, poisoned. Oh, you know what? That's just part of the course. You can expect it. Fortunately, it's not really fair that you can't reach them unless you pull them towards you. Hello. Oh, didn't let me do a jumping attack, eh? Sneaky buggers. Right now, I'm just going to weather the poison for as long as I can. Waste as few poison uh, cures as possible. Naturally, this is going to be a bit of a pain. You do need to be quite careful. The funny thing is, the poison doesn't stack up to a longer total duration, so it's often just better to weather it once, live through it, and then come out the other side. Unless they're spitting puke, bloody puke at you for some reason. Yuck. And they are like infinitely respawning or something. I do hate those guys. Well, that takes him down. I'm uh, eating my way through my Estus fairly quickly now. I don't really want to waste. I just all over at night. I don't really want to waste poison cures though. Right, those leech things are actually quite useful because you can farm stuff off them. But for now, let's just go around. Looting everything. Tattered, tattered cloth. Actually, I think the tattered cloth stuff's quite good for poison. If I remember correctly. Oh, no, just go away. You do not want. We've had enough for today, thank you. And now these things do hit quite hard, if I remember correctly. But they don't have a lot of life, and they have a very good chance of giving you large titanite chunks, which is exactly what we need lots of now in order to uh, level our equipment. So, let's go and find some of the stuff over there. Uh, keeping ever in sight of the bonfire because we're already low on Estus. We've got one humanity. If I can get another one, then I can kindle a bonfire and, you know, we're stoked because we're sorted. Does anybody say stoked? I mean, is it just Australians? Because I have heard it used a few times, but so rarely. I'm not sure if it's maybe an 80s term? And the Aussies have just gone, you know what? We like that one, we're keeping it. Except in a more Australian accent, and, you know, better. Ah, the poison. Oh good. I hate poison so much. But we can probably just get back without getting poisoned again. Unfortunately, as you can see, we will respawn every bugger in the place. Well, we're getting a bunch of souls. Hmm. Is it worth doing yet? Yes. Can we level up yet? No. <laughs> Why would you even think that? Right, but now we do have the tattered cloth, and if I remember correctly, that is just the... 
Nope, not Hollow Thief. We're looking for Tattered. No, there we go. Yep, Poison Resist 23. So, for example, the chest 47 or 59. Yep, it's a definite improvement. Tattered Cloth, and then... Where's the Tattered Cloth? The other one. There's got to be some Tattered Cloth around here somewhere. Hollow Thief, Hard Leather... What? What? We've got the Tattered Cloth of all the things. Hollow Warrior, Hollow Soldier... Ah, let's just look for whatever's got the most poison resist on it. Oh wait, no, they're heavy. Wait, what? Oh, I see. No, they're not heavy. They're fairly light. So they must be the... Yes. Yes, and they've got more poison resist than the shadow leggings, so these must be... So what's our poison resist at now? Oh, yeah, 188. Totally balling. Looking like an idiot. But that doesn't matter because we're actually able to sustain damage and survive from it. Yep, we've got a bigger poison resist bar. It would make sense to try not to take damage if possible, as in try not to take the poison. Right, one down and... Oh, come on. Those guys are so nasty. Look guys, we need to have a conversation here. You're stifling my ability to live. I'm afraid I'm going to have to let you go. Off a cliff. Face first. Onto pointy rocks. Or, you know, you could just eat sword and die. Well, actually, it's not really sword. It's eat this bit of dragon's tail I locked off him with a bow and arrow that somehow didn't go off a cliff, but instead teleported into my inventory. But I think that's a bit of a mouthful to try and use it as a one-liner. It's more like a one-paragraph, and I don't think anyone would be paying attention by that point because they're usually dead. I mean, alternatively, they may have killed me by that point, but that's not really what you want to be focusing on. Double hit? I've not seen them do double hits. Interesting change up there. Right, now remembering we're trying not to get poisoned to death. So sprinting across the puddles whenever we can. What the hell was that? Oh, it's another one of those. I'm sure there will be another one of those um, toxic poison pygmy douches around here somewhere, but for now let's not worry about that. G gorgeous view. Too right mate. That pile of rocks. Oh yeah, isn't that pretty? Just what I needed to pick my day up. Right, there is stuff around here. There are leeches we're going to have to kill in order to get to it. But actually that's good. Don't forget, we actually need stuff from these leeches. Wow, that's dark. Like, I'm talking seriously, what the hell, dark brightness. Uh, okay. That's not much better. <laughs> it's just enough better that I will go with it, but it's really not that much better. Are you coming over here, or am I going to have to wait all day? Yep. One hit kill. And unfortunately, no loot. Because, I mean, that's what you're looking for, isn't it? Treasure. Loot. Yeah, holding your shield up does actually seem to help in situations like that. That is an interesting test, if an odd one. Right, nothing around here. The thing to keep an eye out for is that there is lots and lots of those little glowy patches full of loot. Ooh, what was that? Oh, no, it's just the souls. Forgive my um, overexcitement. Just in case we can get some large titanite and actually level up some stuff. In fact, I probably should save these souls. Ooh, who am I kidding? I'm just going to spend them immediately so I don't lose them. Down the back of the sofa, you know how it goes. Could make a sofa from those leeches. They look quite 
soft and comfy and plump. Although I don't think they'd be too happy about doing it while alive. So it may be more of a um, make a sofa out of the murdered leeches' corpses. Ooh, large titanite. Absolutely fabo. Oh, really? We did so well to get this far, and in the end, nothing really mattered. Never mind. Means we get to kill a bunch more leeches on the way back. If I can see that far. Now, of course, the other thing to remember is that we can just ignore many of the enemies and run past them. Because unlike the dark, the black knights, I should say, they don't all chase you for infinity forever. For, like, infinity billion years. Which is nice, because if they did, we'd be fucked. Because I cannot be fucked to kill them all. Yep, the, holding the shield up, regardless of being looking a bit silly, does actually seem to reduce the poison over time increase. That's actually quite funny. But it does mean I have to rest on land between it. So keep an eye out for that. Now, naturally, you don't need to hold up while you're on the land. Did those leeches not respawn? Because they should have respawned by now. Oh, here we go. Just don't want to get crept up on by leeches coming from the outside. Because, I mean, as you saw, they hit like a bit of a expressway to hell. Oh. And to be fair, that's Mr. Bone's wild ride, and I don't want to be on it. If you haven't experienced Mr. Bone's wild ride, I do suggest you um, Google it. Because it is quite funny. Although it helps if you know a thing or two about Rollercoaster Tycoon or Theme Park or those type of games. No more loot. It is a bit rare. I think one of the things they drop is either large titanite or green titanite. In either case, very handy. If you are struggling to find the right resources you need, there are guides on the internet. There's one specifically that lists the materials it's going to show you how to get at the beginning, and you just click on it as annotations, and it jumps you straight through to the right place to get that from. So I, I definitely recommend that one if you can find it. I cannot remember for the life of me what it's called, but I have found it very useful in the past. Right, quickly loot, and now prepare for the incoming wave of death. Mine or theirs? My choice, I guess. Ooh, and there's more loot. So ha look at how many leeches there are. N like, none of them have dropped the... whatever they're called, yet. Green? I'm, I want to say green titanite shards, but... Ooh, is that one? Is that one? Yes, it probably was one, and now it's the wall. Thank you, wall. That's absolutely fabo of you. If you could just you know, move out of the way so I can loot it. No? No, not going to be there helpful. Yeah, well, fuck you too. You've done nothing but impede my progress. That being sort of the nature of being a wall. So, I mean, I can't say that I'm wrong. Ah, delving through the deepest horrible bogs of death. That's just where you like to spend your holidays, isn't it? Yeah, they can't move fast enough for me to worry about. The worry is when they hit. I mean, it's sort of a one-hit me or them. I can't believe the only loot we got from them vanished, like, so easily. Ah, Sever. That's actually quite an interesting weapon. I'll just bring it up on the screen so we can have a look at it. I say interesting, I didn't say good though. Keep that in mind. Right, it's 107 damage. Uh, 60 physical damage reduction, as in you can use it as a um, shield. Need some strength. Um, param bonus. E and C, so dexterity, E and strength C. Does that mean it gains bonuses from those things? I think it does. If you look at the... Um, Dragon Sword, it can, can gain no bonuses. If you gain, if you look at the Claymore that I love so much, it gets equal bonuses from strength and dexterity. Whereas if you roll down to se Sever, not so much strength, but it's a good D 
dex weapon so if you're building a dex build that's quite useful if I remember correctly it's got more to it than that imbued with a frightful occult energy which restores HP with each hit yes that's what you want it's essentially vampiric as a lot of games and systems label weapons it, you would probably call it a vampiric weapon oh quick out of the goop before we get poisoned I don't want to waste too many of those poison heals not that I have thus far oh 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 ah I'm poisoned nope that was my own silly fault right this time I am going to uh, snarf one I love that word snarf because I don't want to I want to be able to have, operate out here for a little bit longer before having to return to any kind of campfire although to be fair I think I'm actually going to go straight towards one now if you keep an eye on where I'm going if you know where it is I'm going you might actually have an idea what's coming up next Ooh, gong dang it that boy ain't right well neither of these leeches oh jeez glug 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 see now the blue tear stone ring coming into effect there you can see me glowing with the defense bonus so many times has that one ring from the beginning of the game saved my bacon not that my bacon's terribly good but I, it hasn't required saving all that much thanks to the ring my bacon brings all the boys to the yard. Well, that would be an interesting experiment. Large Titanite Shard. Yeah, I knew it. So you can, if you feel really frothy, I think the term is, for getting, you know, sort of barbarian rage. I'm gonna do this! Hyped up going on. If you're feeling really frothy, you can give that a go. And go murder some leeches over and over and over ad infinitum until all your weapons are, like, plus infinity or whatever. P probably after this episode I am going to park myself somewhere where I can do that and then go do that off camera so you don't have to watch me do that repeatedly right now if you saw where I came up here that was probably quite good and actually quite important because you're gonna need it come to this wall if you look at this entrance here's a tree branch look at the entrance there's a wall sort of on your left and if you look closely, you can see here is a seam where the um, the vectors, not the vectors, the polygons don't mesh entirely right if I'm looking at the right wall. I believe I am. So if we give it... Yeah, there we go. And you can see it. it the rest of it looks far more tree-like than that fake wall. So they were trying to give you somewhat of a hint. Right now, remember, this is probably the, the a good time to start with the practice. Assume it's a mimic and hit it before you do anything. Now, that helpfully got rid of that wall, but it also proved that this isn't a mimic, so we can nick from it. Later, you can get killed one hit because you opened a mimic and they just stood up and snarfed you. So, you know, careful of that. Right now, the reason I'm coming this way is because there is something we want here. Although it's not really the whole thing. As you can see, there's a ladder here. Use the ladder, don't fall, unless you actually like being dead. Most people don't, you know. It, it tends to put a crimp in their day. But here, this is the bonfire, the Great Tree Bonfire. Later, this is a bit of a spoiler, you'll get the ability to teleport between bonfires. If you want to explore this tree with the horrible beings and Hydra at the bottom, it would be best to be able to teleport, assuming this is one of the teleportable ones, and at rather than having to walk all the way here. So can we level up now? Yes, we can take one point for ourselves. Um, vitality, endurance, or strength. I really, I want to buff my endurance, really. But I'm not going to this time. I'm going to buff the vitality until we switch out to the plus six to plus nine claim or whatever it ends up being when we actually get that many shards. I'm not going to buff my strength too heavily because I'll still be leaning on this sword which gets no benefit from having more strength. If you've got enough strength to use it you're getting as much benefit from strength as you're going to get as you can see in its stat window. But still we're now reset to that bonfire so we're going to want to explore the rest of 
the swamp a little bit and then go and um, gank Quilag the spider fire witch bitch oh no poison again right, there are still things to get down here it's just none of them are ever going to be easy but then you wouldn't want to be playing an easy game if you're playing Dark Souls you're playing it because it's hard but it's hard but fair it's something that games don't always manage some games manage to be hard and unfair and some games manage to be fair but easy that you see that a lot with Nintendo games they'll be like well that's not hard no but it's fair if you like easy and um, unfair for example Mario Kart <laughs> you can be in first place very easily and then someone gets a blue shell and you lose so I mean there's all sorts to cater to all sorts this game very hard very fair I never quite understood the appeal of Mario Kart eh, screw it we're gonna go into the rest place anyway now that will reset them they're not they're not black knights Right. I never quite understood the appeal of Mario Kart. Double Dash was fun because you could share a car and it was a great local co-op thing. But most of the Mario Karts is just like, oh look, you won because you got a random item that means you win or something. So it's not so much about skill, but it doesn't feel so much about skill. It feels like the opposite to this game. As it is. It is the antithesis of... No, not the antithesis the opposite literally I can't think of a better word for opposite antithesis means the key point whereas that's exactly not what I mean <laughs> oh well you know English language and all that what right I am going to roll in a ditch yes no that's exactly what I intend to do there's some I saw something glowing over here so let's go get on it shall we oh can I get out of the yes just about there it is Right now you do not want to get too close to those hills over there. There are some very, very bad men on there that will do very, very nasty things to your backside. Mostly crush it with a rock as you're running away, which it tends to be what happens. But if I say it like I said it, then it sounds much more ominous. Wow, can't believe that worked and I didn't die to death. Forever. Oh well, we're going to get poisoned. Guess what happens? Hmm. A double heavy hit works. Oh, there's another loot over there. Looting, 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 looting. Exactly what we want right now. Also, we want to avoid those um, horrible, horrible bugs. Not game breaking. They're just ball breaking. If you don't mind me saying so. Oh, shiza. Those would be the guys with the rocks that I was trying to warn you about. It would appear that they take up a larger section of the game than I was aware. I can't remember everything, right? And I am playing this 98% from memory with a couple of hints from a guide to remind me. Where do we go next? You know, what area is next? Oh, yes. Oh, backstab. That's got to hurt. It's more like a butt stab with how high these guys are. Oh, really? You're invincible while getting up. Well, that seems like cheating of the lowest order. Well, run away. If he can do that, the other guy can too. Let's just go loot their stuff. I mean, I don't think that they're accurate enough to really pose a direct line threat. Oh, great club. Well, it's a pretty good club. I wouldn't call it great. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, no, let's run away. You can take the mic all you want, but a rock to the face is a rock to the face. But what is it they say? A rock to the face may offend. Oh, it is right up his butt. That has got to hurt. It's a bold move, Cotton. Will it pay off? Well, I think so, considering they have no recourse but to, you know... Take it. You like that, do you? Right in the butt. Sharp side. Point forward first. Right up the 
the back passage. Yeah, that, no. I'm laboring the point a bit, but that, I didn't ne I never realised quite how precise, ooh, dung pie, quite how precise that surgical rectal trauma was. Some of the animations in this game are sublime. Some of them are absolutely weird as heck. But what do you expect? It's a somewhat heavily Japanese influenced game. And that's not to say all Japanese influences are weird, but we do, well, I think we can say a lot in the West that we find them culturally jarring. Their culture is often found so different to that which we are expecting. You're just like, what? Tentacles? Where did they come from? But it's just normal to them. Well, to certain crowds of them, I can't generalize that much. Well, I mean, I can, but I shouldn't. Did we get this guy's loot? I think we did. Oh, I'm going to stab him anyway. I mean, I don't think spiders have... Well, spider, flaming spider guys have anything anywhere specific to shove stuff, but... If he did, that's where we'd be shoving it. Are we really going to continue to be poisoned to death up this ramp? I don't think that's probably the best idea. Because this is possibly one of the most frustrating moments in the game. Oh, go away. Too damn right. I can't actually believe that worked. <laughs> that was brilliant. Right, but this is probably one of the m most frustrating moments in the game. If you do it wrong, you will fall to your death. Repeatedly. Because in trying to get back your stuff, you will, again, be doing the same thing. Right, now, this is as tricky as it looks. Th I think the key to this is wait till you get to the point where you've actually gone sideways already up and then you go sideways on top of it and then you run off that is probably the easiest way to do it it took me a long time to work it out but it is much easier than the alternatives right liar ahead uh yeah no doubt depends who you're talking to Ooh. Now, if I was using the claymore, I could probably reach it with an overhead slash. I don't, however, have much opportunity to switch weapons. Which is why you need to be able to quick switch with the start button. Oh, no, go away. See, now he's hanging out over a cliff, so if I'm not careful, I will get myself murdered to death by falling over a cliff. That is probably the worst part of all this. Right, let's quick select the claymore as the secondary slot. So now we can wield that about like a crazy person and actually swat the flies from some height. And of course there's always the what the old one too. not getting much height on it. I don't know why. Maybe give it a jumping stab. Jumping? No, not jumping stab. Oh well. Back to the old drawing board. I was fairly sure the claymore did more than that. Uh, had a longer range than that. Am I thinking of something different like a halberd or a glaive or something? Because that would certainly explain a lot. Right. Uh, warning, toxic creatures will eat your bum or, you know, poison you to death is the more likely outcome. Oop, toxin. That's the toxin build-up. Right, is there a way? Is there somewhere to climb up? Or are we just going to have to run? I do believe we're just going to have to run. That's just not cricket. Or even any kind of interesting or entertaining kind of sport. Is there no way to get up there from down here? I was sure there was. Have I missed it? Is there another ladder? Ah, there it is. Yes, I thought so. Because if you had to cross that bridge with still being shot at, you're probably dead. I mean, to be fair. Right now, they, there is no protection here. They can still get me. Well, he's dead. Now, remember to run away, because look at how fast toxics 
killing me off. And another bump at the Estus. Luckily he won't be back. When I said I would kill you last, I lied. Ooh, 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 run, 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 Right now, how do I get up over to him? That is a tricky question. Wait, hold on. Is there a bridge that I've just missed? Because that would explain a lot. No, there's a big old hole. Hmm. Well, oh, stop shielding and then run. Right, there are dogs down there. Be careful of them. Don't go down there just yet because we're still getting poisoned by the poison douche. Right, we can, I think, go down here and be out of his vision range. Oh, nope, but there's one over there. Quick, quick. Fast as you can. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. No. Did he fall down there on purpose? You clever SOB. Is he still alive? If he's not still alive, then he's not that smart. No, maybe he's just a moron. Or maybe he ran off. Maybe he's too smart for his own good. Where's that other guy shooting from? Are they all just falling off cliffs? They're all just follow falling off cliffs. Well, you know what? I'm going a bit gung-ho. Tally-ho! Hey. If it works, it works. Can't argue with the results. Although you can argue with getting burned to death, that that's definitely not a good result, at least. And can we now please... Yes, thank you. Put those away, was my thought. There must be a guy around here. He was just there. Hmm. Now I'm worried that he's hiding here somewhere. Let's kill these dogs. I mean, I really, really should go back. Only the quick hits now. Oh, because we don't want them to do that. We don't have any more Estus. I believe if they come to approach us, they're not going to flame. It's if they're stationary for long enough that they'll flame. Yeah, there we go. So very careful with those. Firekeep Assault, you want that very much. It means we can boost our Estus Flask from plus one to plus two. Assuming Firekeep is still there when we get back. Not to be too much of a spoiler, but that is something that can happen. They don't go off on jollies, it just, you know. Bad things happen to good people all the time. Man, that's depressing. And anyway, nobody actually said that the fire keepers are good people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the thing, you know, if they're not lunging at you, they've got something else in mind. And they're all dead. Wow, that's the first time I've been through this area without getting horribly poisoned to death. Or pushed off a cliff. Or both. Both at once. It does happen. Yep, I can't see any more toxic guys. I'm only hoping that when he fell down, he fell to his death. Oh, there's one. Shouldn't there be two here? Okay, now I'm really worried that one of them got away. Probably the other side. But I can't hear any more of the clicking that indicates them. So let's go back to the bonfire. And revivify. Actually, we might be able to keep going, but we'd lose near 6,000 souls when we die. Going down on that elevator, 
No, don't even. Going down on the elevator is quite tricky. So I'd rather lose all my stuff on an elevator. Oh, watch out for the guy, we don't know where he is. Than, say, further up where it might be even harder. Wow, it's difficult to use metaphors without accidentally slipping on something you didn't mean to say. Like this is generally considered, I think, the best way down. Wait, hold on. Is it? No, I'm probably better off down the next level. I don't know, because if you jump from higher up, you're closer in. Oh well, tally ho. There we go. Yeah, thanks very much, phone. That's exactly what I needed right in the middle of a recording. Well, never mind. Are we safe? Yes. Watch out for the poison. We've got to get back to the bonfire. Oh, so much poison. We do actually want to go back up where we just were because there are more items up there still to be found. And we're back. Right, I'm going to break part one for now. Go turn off my phone. And I'll be back for part two right away.